Hello, today I'm going to show you the premenstrual workup of iliofemoral access in a patient who cannot undergo CT angiogram. So have to do a non-contrast CT to look at the access options for this patient. So I'm going to look at the femoral access here. You can see this is the layout in the femoral tab. And rather than doing automatic segmentation because there's no contrast, you're going to have to go here on the right side on manual center line. So once you're in there, you what you need to do is go into the abdominal aorta and see that it is quite calcified. And you start with the center line dot to trace out the center aorta going to the right iliac artery. And you can see that here. And then you have to manually segment this by trait following along the curve to the, now you have the external iliac artery. You have to see how it's here. You can see the vein on the other side. You can see some medial walk and you can see the femoral head here. And you keep going until you see the bifurcation into superior femoral and uh, profunda artery. You can see that right here. So after you've done that, you go to add new center line on the right side. And you now do the same thing for the left aleofemoral system. And you can just trace along. It's actually relatively straightforward. You can see that here. Now, one thing that you need to be mindful of with tracing this is because it's a long contrast can, you don't see the luminal diameter. So there's some calcium on the vessel wall. So your measurements may be a little bit overestimated. So the vessel might actually be a little bit smaller than you think because the calcium wall, you can see that here, but you may not see the lumen itself. So in any focal dissection or any kind of atherosclerotic plaque, you're not going to be able to see that it's not uh, going to light up. So once you're done, you go to here next. Now you can see that it's similar to what you do with the CT angiogram that you can segment. You're gonna now have to do the same thing in terms of confirming all these dots in the center line. You can see clearly there are a lot more dots than a contrast CTA because after all, you are doing a non-contrast study. So you wanna make sure that these are all in the center line. It may be a little bit challenging to appreciate, but you know, you wanna make sure you can see that here, if you line is very squiggly, you're probably not getting the center line uh, measurement correctly. So that's the right side, you can see. Now we're gonna go to the left side and doing the same thing. So this is a little bit more time consuming as you can see than with contrast. However, with the Fremencio, you still can do that. And you can see that this patient has a circumferential calcification here of this part of the left iliac system. So if you have the capability, you can also do a low dose contrast CT angiogram to at least light up the access vessel in the aortic root to the extent you can still do a proper segmentation. But if the patient cannot have any contrast given your local radiology protocol, then this is still a alternative option. So once you finish here, you can see that that's pretty much where the bifurcation uh, starts with the SFA and Profunda. You can then click confirm. So I'm gonna on the bottom left, click angio view. And here I'm gonna go down to the femoral head here. So again, you're looking for a clean spot to puncture. You can actually see the outline of this vessel quite well. And I'm going to mark this as a right femoral artery. And you go up there. So because you see this little calcium there and it's right at the external and common femoral junction, I'm going to mark this as well. So because it's non-contrast, you won't be able to see that very well. So you want to make sure the operator is aware of some of this calcification here. So this is external iliac. So I typically mark a lot of these landmarks, especially if there's a lot of calcium or concern about access challenges in terms of whether you need 
shockwave lipotripsy, or you might need to balloon angioplasty certain segment. Uh, so and also so that you have enough uh, bail plan. So now I'm doing right common iliac artery. So you can see the rest are pretty straightforward. There's also as a bifurcation sometimes can be very calcified. So you want to mark that as well. You can see that here. So and then the left side, same thing. So you can see I'm going down. You can see much more calcified femoral artery. Quite hostile, actually. Here you see might be a clean spot anteriorly. Remember, this is anterior. That's the skin, not up top of the uh, monitor. So you can scroll down here. You can see distally have the calcium anteriorly. So be very careful about not accessing the artery there. And then you go up to the external iliac. You can see this is pretty clean. Certainly mark that here. And as you go up there, you can see there's a bit of a circumferential calcification here at the proximal external iliac. Okay, remember this is not the luminal diameter. It might actually be smaller. So just be mindful that, and this is now the common iliac up to the bifurcation, you can see that here, some medial cal wall calcium. So you can also do a few more segmentation if you like. So now that we're done, you want to create a snapshot of the overall anatomy and layout. So you make sure you draft these still shots so that they don't overlay, otherwise, it's not going to be useful to the reader. So do a spammer overview, then you click here. This is the right axle. So then I go on to the fluoroscopic. This is kind of where the ideal puncture site is. And then here you can see this is kind of where the ideal left puncture site is based on the calcification. I put angel right, angel left. This is the center line view. And then this is the snake view. So now let's look at the report. You can see that here, this is the layout of the access roll map. You can see where the ideal puncture sites are and then the center line stretched out. So you can save this PDF to share with your heart team. Of course, you can save the session as well. So here's the workup for access consideration for transfemoral tower using a non-contrast CT. I hope this is helpful to you and we'll see you next time.